This edition of Computer Club Lesson was recorded on March 17th, 2015. Enjoy! Hello, and welcome to Computer Club Lesson. This episode is brought to you by the Binary Guy. In today's lesson, we're going to deal with importing and exporting in Microsoft Mail products. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is open up my version or my copy of Windows Live Mail. And already it wants me to set it as default mail, but in this instance, I'm going to say no. Now, I have previously loaded my Gmail account into this mail, mail package and loaded up um, my contacts, there they are, all 120 of them, and uh, my mail, and also I loaded um, in the um, in the package this uh, my uh, mail server settings. Um, this was done with a cute little trick that uh, Microsoft Mail can do where it can export and import uh, mail settings. And uh, we'll deal with that in a few minutes, but uh, first let's deal with the whole idea of importing and exporting items from your mail package. The reason that you would want to export items from your email client would be number one to save the settings. Number two, most importantly, is to save your contact list. If you're going to upgrade your computer, you're going to change email clients uh, and a host of other things that could uh, perhaps your email client became damaged and you have to reinstall it, you're going to lose all of this good stuff, your contacts and the settings uh, for your email server. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to export all of our contacts from our contact list. It's address book or contact list. And in this uh, instance here in Windows Live Mail, we have an export button. And so I'm going to click on that export button. And it gives me two ways to export my contact list. And the most desirable way is to export the contact list as a comma separated value dot CSV. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. Now it brings up another panel that says, where do you want to send this file to? I like to send new files to the desktop just so I can find them easily. I can put them in a folder later, but I always like to send them to the desktop. So we're going to give this file a name, addresses, and we'll browse to the desktop. And you click on desktop, and now it's this panel in Explorer is telling you what's going to happen. It's going to save the item to the desktop. It's going to have a file name of addresses, and it's going to save it as a comma separated value. This is exactly what we want. So we'll save this item click next and now it's going to uh, to uh, present you with a panel on how the CSV will export the items in this instance we can check off first name last name and all of the other items in here are checked off by default that you might want to have if you have them in your email package so let's click finish and now it's exported that item to the desktop. Let's go and find it. And where is it here? Okay, addresses. Now it's a CS .csv file and that file is recognized by Microsoft Office Excel. So let's open the file and see what it looks like. 
and in this instance it has given me the first part of um, my address book but that's good enough for for the purposes that we're looking at and the um, address book is here um, in an Excel spreadsheet now we're going to save the settings for our mail package and what we want to do here again is export um, the the um, email settings to the server um, export them to the desktop and save them there if you right click on your email account in this case it's my gmail account bob William. if you right click on it you will get a, a drop down box with uh, to show you the properties of this and you can go ahead and write all this stuff down by hand that here's the, the server names your username your password if you can remember it um, advanced settings on how the email server wants to communicate with your email client in this case uh, the authentication is uh, secure socket layer SSL so it has a particular port number the same thing with incoming mail it has a particular port number and it's SSL you could try and remember all of this stuff you could write it down but in most cases you're going to get it wrong so the thing that we want to do is we want to save this we want to save this um, information to the desktop so in this case what we do is we go to a drop down box and we go to options and if we click on our email account options it will show you that we have our gmail um, our gmail account as default and that we can import and export in this case let's export this item again to the desktop it's going to give it a name well we're going to change that name we're going to call it gmail and it's going to be an internet account file an internet account file dot IAF and we're going to save this here again to the desktop we've given it a good name and we will save and with any kind of luck at all we will find here is our gmail IAF gmail IAF file you can now take this and put it on a thumb drive and put it somewhere or save it into your documents folder um, but um, in the event that you have to reinstall your email package you have these two files to rebuild your email package without, without trying to guess what it's going to be we'll uh, pause for a moment here and uh, we'll talk about importing Now let's look at a brand new installation of an email client, in this case Windows Live Mail, and we want to reproduce our contact list from the file that we saved earlier on the desktop, addresses, right here. Okay, so we want to import our addresses back into a brand new installation of an email client, and when we uh, click on Contacts, will be presented with an import button to import our contacts. Now we save the file out as a comma separated value so that's what we're going to import. So we'll click on comma separated value and we can now browse to the location of 
the contact list and the contact list is on the desktop and there it is addresses so we'll click on that highlight it click on open now it's showing us where it's going to import the file from from the desktop addresses.csv comma separated value click on next and it will now import all of the contacts that are available in the list and click on finish and there we go it's imported our contact list now the same holds true for importing your email your email settings from your email server again we click on and we uh, the file menu and we go to options and this time we're going to look at our email accounts now I previously installed my Gmail account on the package so I'm just going to run you through how you would go about doing this because it, it won't let me do it twice so once you've got your accounts properties open you want to click on import and it'll ask you where do you want to import the file from now here again it's an IAF file internet account file IAF and it's on the desktop and we found it right here click on that put it into the file name click on open and it will load your previous settings for your email server and here they are right here so it's reloaded all of our mail and if we right click on it and go to properties it will show us our server settings our advanced settings the security settings for mail and that's how you import all of your contacts and email settings back into a brand new installation of an email client That's Computer Club lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.